Thank you. The Onondaga Free Library, a crowded place this summer at a time where smartphones and other technology allow people to have access to information in the palm of their hands, the library is finding ways to bring people in in record numbers. They certainly are. And tonight, News Channel 9's Josh Martin shows us how. The Onondaga Free Library had a record-breaking summer, but it's not just books that are bringing people in. More than 11,000 people came through the doors of the Onondaga Free Library in July a new record. On top of that, there were more than 26,000 items checked out, including books, GoPro cameras, and interactive devices. Another record for the library. I thought to myself, this is amazing, even for us. Susan Morgan has been director here at Onondaga Free for seven years. She says the reason for the record-breaking numbers is the library's willingness to adapt to modern times. I think we're doing a really good job of listening to our community. What do they want? What do they expect? Um, we recently did a an ask to the community, uh, a referendum for support um, for funding, and one of the big things they asked for was technology upgrades. And the technology can be seen in all parts of the building, like this touchscreen kiosk. And one of the things I did want to point out too is we have an interactive map of the library. More people at the library means more interaction, more community engagement, and that the library is serving its purpose by bringing people together. I mean, we have seen such tremendous community support in all these years, but this is just beyond our wildest expectations. The library hopes to continue to expand its technology inventory, adding onto a foundation built by books. In Syracuse, Josh Morton, News Channel 9. Library Director Susan Morgan says another reason for its success is the different programs offered at the library. This fall, coding classes will be coming to Onondaga Free. For more information, head to localsyr.com.